Hello YouTube, Chester Boy here, and today we're taking a look at the MH-003 Mugen Bison figure from Bandai Mugen Heroes. Now to appear what Mugen Heroes is, it's actually a spin-off of, um, well, it's technically not a spin-off of Mugen Bain. I mean, since Mugen Bain is still continuing to this very day, so... So yeah, so you get all the parts that make up Mugen Bison, and you get one little 3D card, little holographic card. So, here's a holographic card. You can see we got Mugen Bison on the bottom, we got MH003. And so you got the top left corner, we've got like an axe symbol. Which that'll become apparent when we see um Mugen Bison's um Mugen Bison's armor form weapon. And of course we got we got like a little symbol, which I'm not sure what that what's not supposed to be. And here's the effect card the effect card, um, which shows like electricity, some thunderbolts. Right. Um so yeah, and where you put the card in um, the um, animal mode, you slide it into this little um, this little slit right here. So this little slot, I should say. You just slide in like this. There we go. You can you can make it look like he's generating electricity. So yeah, like a little electric attack. So yeah, pretty cool. Now onto the bison mode itself. Um, you can see it's very ni very nice. You can see it's mainly um, orange, um, yellow. Um, black and some hot pink for the for the eclipse and pegs that you see on the figure on this figure. So, um, no, yes, I will admit the back of the bison mode looks really strange. You know, having the axe, which of course yes, there's the axe, the uh, the weapon. Um, having an axe handle as a tail. Um, and as you can tell, these are going to become Mugen Bison Mugen Bison's armor form feet. So. Um, yeah. Now, now yes, you might have seen that happen. Um, this piece does not want to peg on to the um, this little peg hole or any other peg hole because um, on this piece right here, you know it's hard to see, but there's actually a little crack in there, which means if I just plug this in, it's it's just it just loosely pegs in there. Um, see, like you don't hear a clipping sound. So, so one little, so once I tap this out. It just falls off, but but at least the peg hole, this little peg right here, is not broken because that is actually that actually that's actually important for the uh, the armor form. So yeah, um, I'm also moving this off the side because let's show off the articulation. Um, they have kind of wobbles if you want, if you so choose. Um, there's no mouth there's no mouth joint sadly, so that's so yeah, it's kind of a bummer. But but there's some leg articulation, so the arms can. Uh, trying to get a better handle of this. They can swing all around like that. There's a knee joint. Uh, there's a ankle joint, we could say. Um, the legs, uh, the back legs, we're going to say no. So, yeah, and of course, that just pegged off. So, all right. So, yeah. So, with that out of the way, let's get on to the transformation. All right, so let's get... So let's go and take apart this guy. Um, let's so remove these pieces right here and set them off the side. Move the head, but don't remove the horns. So there you go. And take what become the weapon, which is an axe, a double-bladed axe. Then uh, take these pieces off and go ahead and remove these pieces. Remove that piece. Remove that piece. Um, remove, oh. all right, remove just the one, the front hooves, the ho the, uh, the front hooves, I should say, for lack of a better term, um, but keep these orange pieces on, so, and then go ahead and remove these, these, the back hooves, and through the legs, till you're left with this, so, so yeah, let's put them together. Um, now if these little pieces right here where my thumbs are, you're going to push these down to reveal, um, pegs on there. So, you want to make sure these, these clips are on the outside as well, these ones. So, so the game's down like that. And take over the back hooves, um, and make sure, again, the, make sure the peg, the peg's facing outwards. So, and what the clip you're going to use is this one, the one in the front. So, just like that. And this one just like, just like that. 
Then you're gonna take these orange joint pieces and you just peg them onto the top. Twist that around. And then we're gonna bring the entire um, torso section, like, like so, just like that. Um, raise the camera up a little bit. There we go. All right, spread these out. Um, then take over the front hooves, and you guess you can see they have become fists. So yeah. Then take one of these uh, pieces that were on the top and bottom, were were on the top of the bison mode, and on the I should say the belly, the belly of the <laughs> bison form and you can plug them on top like this so they become like knuckle bracers so yeah pretty cool um the same on the other just like this there we go and plug that one on that side and plug this one on the other there we go you can see it's all coming together and go ahead and take these these little um piece, these yellow pieces here and they plug right onto the front so yeah I might as well go ahead and remove this little bar piece up top. But this is where the card comes in. Oh, oh, oops. Whoa. Okay, I almost flew off the table. Um, and go ahead and go in this and go in, you could put it in the little slot right here. So I should do it from there. And go ahead and put that down. With the bar, this little bar piece up top. Alright, we're not done yet because what about the bison head? Well, it just goes right on top. There we go. And the one thing that's neat is that these little um, indentations, they actually do fit over these little pegs up top, which is actually very, very nice and snug. Very nice. Um, you can see it's kind of tall, so thanks to those, you know, those horns. Um, yeah. And last but not least, plug in the axe. And there you have Mugen Bison in its armor form. And yeah, he's actually pretty cool. Um, he's not as bulky as you think. I mean, he's skinny and streamlined. Um, especially from, you know, an animal who is, a, you know, a tough animal. Like a bison, obviously. Um, so, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Um, now, it's kind of weird that the Taurus is kind of almost a pirate. But even though it would have been better if it was a Viking. I guess that would have been too obvious. But, <laughs> um... But, oh well, that's just how it is, so there's a little run around. Um, now, if you look closely enough, there's the Mugenbein logo up there, right there. And there's one on the bottom, right here, as well. Um, so, yeah. Alright, um, of course, these can move, for, you know, for articulation purposes. Um, and speaking of that, speaking of articulation, the... The arms can swing all the way around. There's the shoulder. This can swing out to the side. There's no um, bicep swivel up top, but there is a wrist swivel um, right there. The elbows can bend, and well, that's that's it for the the arms really. Here are the legs. They can go forward. They can go. They can bend backward. There, there's a thigh swivel. There's a knee joint, and there's an ankle joint because now because of the transformation, there's an ankle joint. So that's something. So yeah, you can so you can get this guy into pr pretty decent poses. Um, so yeah. Now, however, that's not all. In my recent in my uh, recent Mugen Heroes review, I did review the Rex Drill, which is one of the Mugen weapons. Um, so that guy is actually compatible official. I should say officially compatible with this guy. So I'll show him off right now. Okay. So I'll show off the combination with Rex Drill. So. So, officially, you have to remove this. Um, I'm also going to set this off to the side. And, um... I'm not sure where to put these, but let's just set them off to the side for now. Um, okay, let's just set the arm off to the side. And I'm also going to straighten this joint out. And let's put Rex Drill in its weapon mode. So, take the arms off, swap them around. Like that, so it makes like a dinosaur mouth. Fold those down, flip the head up if it as far as it will go, and plug it like that. Fold it up. Now, of course. Okay. So you have, um, it's kind of a weird name, but this is actually, this is called Mugen Grabbin. Now, as a, now the Grabbin not as in gra like grabbing stuff, but 
there's actually a geological term for you know graben which is spelled G R A B E N. So yeah, it's actually I did translate the Kana of you know from the box, and it, it does spell like graben, you know graben. But I'll, I'll put like a definition in the description below what a graben is. I mean, it's actually a geological term. A geological term so yeah since it would make sense because you know, it's earth related because hey we got like a bison and we got a dinosaur i mean makes sense well specifically a t-rex so yeah um so yeah it's just mook and bison with the drill um if you like the mook and grabbing name i'm gonna call him um rex mook and drill next mook and bison or mook and bison drill i mean whatever you so desire mm, yes now, also, if you want to add a, little, add a little effect, you can actually put a saw blade in there, um, if you want to. Even though it kind of looks ridiculous, but hey, that's what they're going for, like these little effect, these little effect sides. So, so yeah. So that's pretty much it for Mugen Bison. All right. So overall, I do recommend this figure. Um, if you've been collecting the Mugen Heroes figures, like Mugen Dragon or Mugen Scorpion, and especially the two. Um, Mugu weapons I've reviewed, um, then get this guy. I mean, he's a lot of fun. Um, he's got like a lot more articulation, which is actually pretty cool. Um, um, now, don't expect any uh, um, torso articulation because of the whole card gimmick, but oh, I can I can look past it. I mean, but again, it's pretty cool. Like I say, I have this nice pose going on here. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, did I forget to mention um, this one little detail on the the arms? I forgot to mention that these are actually rocket powered. Yes, he's got rocket powered knuckle bracers. So yeah, pretty cool. So that means his punches are gonna be really painful, like at really like high speed. So yeah, um, so yeah. Also, did I forget to mention that Mugen Bison, Mugen Scorpion, and this guy do combine? Yes, they do in fact combine to form Mugen Trinity. However, that combination video is gonna be a separate in a separate video. Not this one. Just because, you know, I don't drag, I don't drag this video on for too long. So, so yeah. Um, and that's going to be my next video. The Mugen, Trigen, the Mugen Trinity combination. So, thank you for watching. If you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button. Hit the bell icon next to it. You can follow my Twitter and like my Facebook page. The links are down below. So, I will catch you next time.